Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another beer review. And we've got a beer and a style which I'm not a fan of, but I've got a fair few, actually, to review of this style. Um, it seems to be this style is everywhere at the moment. We've got the, we're talking about the good old coffee stout, and I'm not really a fan of them, to be honest. They don't really do it for me, but um, whenever I review one, I'd, I'd see it from the point of view of what they want to achieve in terms of brewing. So, we're off to a brewery, which, I'll be honest with you again, I, they, they, they were, had a blip in the early days of, of being, you know, sort of pioneers in marketing of, of, of craft beer. And to be honest with you, since they've been in the supermarkets, I kind of like, kind of like being turned off them. Um, mainly because I've always felt that, you know, their budget has always been put into their can designs and the brewing. So we off to Beaver Town, and they collab with Clemson and Sons. Now Clemson and Sons is a uh, bespoke artisan coffee producer who started off in a market uh, on a market stall in London. I've uh, been going twenty years, and they have kind of like joined forces, done this coffee style called espresso, clocking in. At six percent ABV, picked this up from Waitrose in Harrogate uh, about three or four weeks ago. Um, I just felt like I haven't done a Beaver Town beer for a while. Let's stick one on the channel, type of thing. I wasn't kind of like I didn't fall for the can or I didn't fall for the style. I just thought, you know, haven't had it yet. Yeah, I may not be a fan of the style, but I will view this beer as uh, a way of appreciating, you know, if it's good, appreciating uh, the beer for, for what it is. So let's just crack it open. See what it's all about. I think we'll uh, just stick it straight in the can. Straight, straight in the can, straight in the glass. <laughs> See what it's all about. This was about three quid. There we go. As you can see, that it looks decent. It's got a beautiful, kind of like creamy head to it, off white. Let's see if we can get it all in. But no, I just feel like with Beaver Town, I just think it's style over substance with them. And, you know, we're not stupid, us beer drinkers, are we? We don't fall for the can. Um,. We fall for the beer inside it. So, put it up to the light. Yeah, it's not jet black. You can see through it. It's like a burgundy shadow through it. Off-white head. Let's get a whiff. Yeah, you pick up the coffee. The, the ground coffee. For sure. I'm going to go in. So, cheers, everybody. On the first taste, I have to say, it's not bad. That's just the first taste, so I haven't got in, got you know, got further in. On the first taste, it's not bad. Yeah, you pick up the coffee straight off the bat. It's there. It's not too bitter. When you th when you know when you see so called espresso, you think it's going to be a real, you know, short sharp shock. Of caffeine, boom! But you're not getting that. I'm going again. It's not that bitter, and I think that's doing it for me. Um, there's a nice balance feel to it. At the moment, it's, it's still full on coffee, slight roastiness feel in the mouth. The mouthfeel for me is okay. It's it's <laughs> it's okay. It's not anything special. Um, I think they've just kind of like 
you know, it suits the beer as, as such. It's, it does suit the beer, the taste that they're trying to put across. It's not overtly bitter. I think that's what I like about it because a lot of the coffee stouts, you know, you've got hot bitterness, you've got the coffee bitterness. You add that together, it's kind of like too much, uh, especially for someone like me. <laughs> but it, it's not that not that bitter, which makes it more palatable. Um, at the moment, I'm going again. At the moment, it's very, very drinkable. Um, Body-wise, I mean, the ABV on that, I think it's just right. For the beer itself, it's, it's just right. It's, it's it, the body of the beer. It's not thin. It's just it's it's kind of like a steady taste, where it's filling out the void of, of of a steady taste of coffee, filling out the void of anything else. The stouty elements are quite hidden. It's more full on coffee, uh, but it's not too bitter. So overall, at the moment, going again. It's not bad. It's not bad. So out of the ones I've had so far, is this the best one? I think the Durham one I had the other day was was the better one. Um, coming to this, this was this is a nice surprise. It's more drinkable for me. Um, I think some people out there will hate it because of. The lack of bitterness and the lack of character, because of the beer itself for me, it does lack a little bit of character regarding um, the coffee and the the stouty elements, especially. So it's a little bit it can it, it could be perceived as a little bit bland, but for me, it's just right. Um, would I buy again? No, I wouldn't, because <laughs> it's a style I'm not really a fan of. But I can appreciate that they've actually it is quite quaffable gear. So for that, I'll give it a thumbs up because it is quaffable. Uh, Beaver Town and the and uh, Clemson and Sons, the espresso coffee stout. It gets a thumbs up, but I won't buy it again. How about that? That's diplomatic. I'm looking at the cat. Cat's not into me. Not need to be in agreement on that. It is diplomatic. Thank you very much for watching this. Uh, you all stars. Every one of you. Look after yourselves. It's a horrible mean world out there. Full of horrible people. But you can always come and watch me. <laughs> bib bib.